11 days from now, we will know who the Super Bowl 54 champion is. Until that time, federal, state, and local law enforcement are working hard to ensure the big game does not become a lure for sex traffickers. Fox reporter Alina Shirazi has the latest from Miami. Miami is in the final preparations for this year's Super Bowl. But miles away from where the game will take off, Miami International Airport workers are keeping an eye out for human trafficking. Airport employees are working with the Department of Homeland Security on how to spot potential human trafficking victims. Florida is a state with the third highest rate of uh, per capita calls regarding human trafficking. So we thought it was important to partner with the, uh, with the entities to teach our employees on the indicators of human trafficking. In my area, we're looking for anything, uh, uh, whether it's a, it's a cell phone to a package for anything that's out of place, for me, it's a red flag. Over 600 airport employees are on board with the training, looking to identify certain behaviors, such as a lack of eye contact, a story that doesn't add up, or a fear of security workers. Anybody that comes in that look out of place, we identify those individuals, we're trying to make contact with them and be able to make sure that those individuals are okay to be here. Customs and Border Protection agents say for national security events like the Super Bowl, it's also game day for them. Anytime you have uh, an event that, that attracts, I would say, like high income uh, participants, it might be prone to situations such as illicit crime, criminal activity. The hope is to stop trafficking on the front lines of entry. If you see somebody that their freedom is being kept from them, they're not allowed to move freely, they're not allowed to express themselves freely, you see that somebody else is holding on to their documents, you know, use your sixth instinct. Airport officials say they'll be on high alert the week leading up to the Super Bowl. They are also expecting about 50,000 more passengers than usual the day after the game. In Miami, Alina Shirazi, Fox News. Again, Super Bowl 54 is Sunday, February 2nd, and you can only see the Super Bowl right here on WZDX.